Hi, I'm Jo from the Laird Learning Centre. It's a bit of a dreary day of the day and I got caught out in the rain and my hair's looking a bit like a burst couch. But anyway, um, I thought, what am I going to do on a wet Saturday? And I've been gifted all this lovely purple wool. And I was thinking, what am I going to do with this? And I thought, pom-poms. Let's make pom-poms. So I got an old bit of cardboard. This is just something that got delivered to me the other day. And I cut a bit of it off. And it is roughly three inches square. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto the floor so it flows a bit better. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to wrap it round. And you do this for a very, very, very long time. Okay, just keep going and keep going until it's nice and thick. No point in watching me doing this, I'll speed it on. Okay, so you can see how much I've wound on. Okay, just a fair bit. Just snip that off. Now, what you want to do is you want to get some strong thread. I like this really thick thread. I'll take a bit off. And what I quite like to do is get the loop and then stick it right through this bit here okay just in case it all goes wrong but you've still got kind of control of it a bit so what you need to do oh see look so what you need to do is pull out this bit of cardboard and then you put these ends through that bit there, through the loop and pull. Pull that nice and tight. And that will give you a half a half of it. Okay. Now what you want to do is find that hole again and stick your finger right through it. And then you're gonna wrap all of it right round. I should have said take one string one way and one the other. Okay, it's really hard to do up in the air. And then tie it and pull it as tight as you can. And then what you want to do is do a surgeon's knot, okay? So a surgeon's knot is just like a normal knot. So you put it through the loop and then you put this bit through the loop again and then through the loop again and then when you pull that tight it won't come out okay now what you need to do is get a sharp pair of scissors please be careful with this and you're just going to snip away all these layers a bit at a time you're in no rush okay and then down to the last bit okay just a wee bit more okay that's one side okay it's actually like a doggy's head okay right next side you do exactly the same just snipping away it Don't come nearly there. Make sure you've got all your bits chopped. Now, I do like making pom poms, but this is my favourite bit. Okay, a bit of a ruffle and channel 
your favourite hairdresser. Now, I would put down something to catch all the bits because it does get a bit messy. I do love a bit of messy crafting. So what we've got to do is it doesn't really look much like a pom-pom at the moment. It's just too fuzzy. Everything's not the same sort of size. If you like it that way, absolutely fine. If you want to make it more like a pom-pom, like I say, channel your favourite hairdresser and start giving it a hairdo. Right, just take your time and go around. Every so often, there's bits going everywhere. Every so often, give it a bit of a roll on your hand and then go, right, see, this bit's here is not looking great. So you've got to go. Up. And you just keep doing that until you're happy with your pom pom. Stop at some point because if not, you'll have no pom pom left. And just an awful lot of bits on your floor. Okay, just keep going. How are we getting? Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And just a few more snips, I think, over this side. Everywhere. I'd be a rubbish hairdresser. Everybody would be bald. Like I say, remember to stop. I'm pretty bad at remembering to stop. See how that goes. There we go. Oh no, look, still more bits. Right, stop, stop, stop. Let's have a go again. There we go. Pom pom. 